for the final video in this series. Let's see how to integrate React Hook Form with Material UI form controls. For our example, we will be building a simple login form using MUI. Step 1 Install MUI. In the browser, navigate to MUI.com and copy the installation command. Back in VS Code, paste the command in the terminal. Step 2 Let's create a login form with MUI components. Within the components folder, create a new file called MUI login form.tsx. At the top, import three components from MUI text field, button, and stack. Next, define a component called MUI login form. For the JSX, I'm going to add an h1 tag that says login, and then a form tag with no validate attribute. Within the form tag, we add two input elements for email and password, and a button to submit the form. Invoke the stack component to place the elements one below the other. Let's set spacing is equal to 2 and width is equal to 400. Within the stack component, add a text field for email and one for password. Add a button called login. Type is equal to submit. Variant is equal to contained and color is equal to primary. Now I am assuming you are familiar with MUI. If you are not, please watch my playlist on React Material UI. So now that we have our form ready, we can tie it together with React Hook Form. So for step three, let's manage our form state with the use form hook. At the top, import use form from React Hook form and then call it within the component. Const form is equal to use form. Next, create the form values type and specify the default values. So type form values, we have email of type string and password, which is also of type string. For the default values, email is an empty string and password is also an empty string. We can also specify use form of form values. Next, destructure the register function from the form object. Const register from form. Using the register function, register the email and password fields with React hook form. Register email and register password. Our form state is now being tracked by React hook form. For step four, let's handle form submission. Destructure handle submit from form object and assign it to the on submit event on the form element. Pass in on submit as an argument and define the on submit function which will log the form values to the console. So data of type form values and we log that to the console. React hook form now manages form submission as well. For the fifth and final step, let's handle form validation. Let's add a simple required field validation to both email and password. So as the second argument to register function, required and the error message is email is required. Similarly for password, object, required, 
and the error message is password is required. This will validate the form field values and populate the errors object. Let's use that to provide feedback. First, the structure form state from the form object. And from the form state, the structure the errors object. Finally, pass the errors object to the appropriate props on the MUI text field component. Error prop is equal to double negation errors dot email. And we then set helper text is equal to errors dot email dot message. So if email is populated within the errors object, we say there is an error with this text field. And the actual error message itself, we set it to the helper text prop. Let's copy paste these two props for the next text field and instead of email, access password. Error handling is built into the text field component, so we don't need a separate component. Our MUI login form with React hook form support is now complete. For testing this form, let's add DevTools support and fix the CSS as it overrides the MUI styles. At the top, import DevTool from hook form slash DevTools. And from the form object, we destructure control. After the closing form tag, Dev tool with the prop control is equal to control. Next for the styles. In main.tsx, remove index.css and in app.tsx, remove app.css. Also replace Zod YouTube form with MUI login form. If you now head back to the browser, we see the login form with email and password fields. Let's open the dev tools and expand all the fields. Fill in the details and we see the form state being updated. Click on login and we see the submitted data in the console. Refresh, click on login and we see the feedback in MUI style. Our code works as expected. With that, we come to the end of this series on React Hook Form for Beginners. I hope that you now have a much better understanding of the concepts than when you did before starting the series. If you're interested in delving deeper into React Hook Form, I encourage you to refer to the documentation as there are advanced topics that can further enhance your understanding based on your requirements. What we have covered so far lays a solid foundation for you to continue learning on your own. As always, thank you for watching and until next time, take care.